Hey everyone! So right off the bat, after we dropped our last video, which was highlighting our uh, moving all of our furniture out of our house, so many of you were like so excited about this. I, I honestly, I thought this video was gonna be so boring, but um, a lot of you guys really responded well to it and you were eager to see like, what our design was gonna be for the floor and everything. So, and we didn't really mention it. We just kind of said, we're redoing our floors. So let me show you what we're doing. Uh, but as you can see, they started laying some of this stuff down. And I say laying the stuff down. I mean, because we're doing a herringbone pattern with this tile, um, they actually have to lay it all out first so they can kind of see how it's going to match up in the spaces. And then they will actually start actually laying it down. Prior to this, we had carpet in the guest room, we had laminate flooring, we had tile in the kitchen. We're doing all tile, but as you can see, we're doing that tile that kind of looks like wood. Um, I'm very excited about this. And I have to admit, I was a little bit nervous because we are doing a darker wood, or rather, we are doing a darker tile, but it actually doesn't look too bad here in the kitchen. I thought it was gonna be crazy dark, but looks pretty good. If you've been following us along since um, when we first started home vlogging, you'll notice that our cabinetry and our countertops, that was part of like a quarantine like glow up we did for our kitchen um, because these are all the same cabinets and everything. We just painted them and um, we got new appliances. But the thing we never did because we just kind of got lazy and then forgot about it is we didn't repaint this archway. We kind of want to change the color of this archway here the drywall right there, and then this archway as well. All right, so it is Sunday, and we decided we just have to get out of the house. We've been holed up there for so long. We're all going stir crazy. So we decided we're gonna go have a nice breakfast, and yep. then we're gonna take little man to the aquarium. All right, so this is where we're getting our breakfast. This is probably our favorite breakfast in all of Arizona. It's called Matt's Big Breakfast. Uh, there's Steve going in. We're just getting takeout. We're gonna take it somewhere else. But the original Matt's Big Breakfast was in downtown Phoenix, and it's actually been featured on um, Food Network. They also have one of these in the airport. So whenever we go to Disney World, we always start with Matt's Big Breakfast. Hey bud, what's up? You ready to have some breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. You're excited. Yeah. So we are at the Scottsdale Quarter um, here up here in North Scottsdale. It's quite a trek from our place, but it's a really beautiful spot. And the aquarium isn't too far. Um, we're gonna go to Odyssey Aquarium, which is really, really cool. We actually got, um, well, I'll talk about that later. Okay, so we found a nice little table and like, we got so much food. Yeah, it's a family for three, but apparently we're eating for 12, so. <laughs> so Caleb and I ordered like this brunch special thing and it says it feeds two to three people, but it was only like 30 bucks and you kind of get a little bit of everything, but some bacon yeah, we got like double bacon. two things of bacon, so. But oh my God, those those pancakes look incredible. Yeah, let's dig in. All right. Okay, you gonna take your first bite? Just one. That looks so yummy. How is it? Yummy. Yummy. Does it, oh, remember, does it get a thumbs up? Do you still do that? <laughs> How is it? This is so good. So, I, I already mentioned this. This is our favorite breakfast spot. In the past, when we've done that brunch where we took it outside, that was Snooze. We like that place a lot, but mainly just because it's close. Yeah. This place is quite a, a trek, but this is where it's at. This pancake is incredible. I'm pretty sure this is the best pancake I've ever had. Yeah. And frankly, Mike and I went on a trip not too long ago and they have one of these at the airport. Yeah. And that Mike was like, I don't care what we do. I just need to get there yeah. early and I need to get my pancakes. I like to get there early so we can start with like, just start our Disney trips with a nice, yeah. match big breakfast experience. So, but. Uh, limited menu during COVID. Yeah. So they did not have anything. They had a sandwich and a burrito. Limited. That was pretty much it. So. Yeah. So a little bit of letdown for Mike, but now he's able to experience makes up for it, his yeah. magic breakfast. <laughs> okay, I just took a bite of this, like this brunch bake. It is so delicious. It's scrambled eggs, cheese, big chunks of ham in there. And then it does have spinach, which I'm not a huge fan of spinach, but um, you can easily order it without. And then for me, I ordered a breakfast burrito because it had chorizo and Mike will tell you that if anything ever has chorizo on the menu, I'm totally gonna get it. Uh -huh. So it doesn't look all that appetizing, but it's really good actually, so. Got chorizo, potatoes, some pinto beans, which I've never really had you know, pinto beans in a breakfast burrito. Some egg, and then also there's like a green chili sauce on top. It's actually really, really good, but it's also very filling. So there's no way I'm gonna be eating all that. 
All right, so far I've had a little bit of everything and everything is absolutely delicious. The only complaint um, I would say, and it's not even really a complaint, is that the bacon, I don't know why, it just doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's really, really thick cut. I'll show you in a second. It's got a coating of, like it was definitely like uh, cured with like pepper. Yeah, it's got some black pepper in there, which is really, really good. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it just doesn't have a ton of flavor. Okay, I think you can see here kind of, it's really nice, nice thick cut. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't have a ton of flavor. I think they're relying way too much on the pepper to introduce some sort of flavor into it, right? Yeah, it's kind of let down. Mm -hmm. I think they're just relying on the pepper to add the flavor on it. Right. But it doesn't have like that nice, like chewy flavor to it. It's almost like beef jerky to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to eat it. Yeah. There's a little man. He wolfed down his pancake and now he's just running around. There's nobody here, which is nice. So, hey, considering we have to go back to the room and like literally our master bedroom and just be holed up there. Yeah, so run around, kid, run yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to go to the hill? Yeah! Oh I'm my god! You excited? All right, let's do it. <laughs> now you're tired? You don't get hurt. Yeah, we don't want to get hurt. What? So oh, actually, hey, bud, look. How do you look at this? This sign says no climbing. So we got to get off. Come on, bud. It says no climbing. Come on. Gotta read our signs. Way to go, Steve. All right, I don't know why, but it doesn't look like I made a dent in this brunch bake. It was so delicious though, but at least we'll be able to take some of this home. Yeah, we're gonna have to take some of this home, especially because it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have my hat, you just see like some right. sweat. Oh my gosh. It, it, it's only like, eh, this says 91 degrees, but it's yeah. hotter than that. So, but the aquarium just opened up, so we'll probably head over there now, yeah. so. Of course we didn't find a shaded area for me. Actually, Mike is perfectly shaded. <laughs> I, I feel, I'm very comfortable I know here. you are. <laughs> there it is. There's the aquarium, Caleb. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. You want to stop? Well, we got to park. One thing that's really cool about this place is there is so much here. So they've got the Odyssey Aquarium, Butterfly Wonderland, Mirror Maze. I mean, there is just a lot to do here. We've only done the aquarium and we actually wound up getting um, annual passes here. And it's nice because you only have to visit like twice and it pays it off. And the first time we were here, we actually didn't even get to do everything. So it's pretty awesome. Another thing that's super cool is that um, this is the aquarium that Blippi came to. Remember when Blippi came here, bud? Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Like Blippi? Here we are in the lobby. We're gonna take this escalator upstairs and we're gonna start our adventure. Look at this, bud. Turtles. Wow. Wow, look at this thing. This dude is just like sitting there so still. It's so creepy. He kind of reminds me of like a velociraptor from Jurassic Park or something. Much smaller, of course. Very gentle. Two fingers. Two fingers. Oh. Those anemones can be pretty sticky at times. Don't worry, they're just trying to eat you. <laughs> this is the one thing he was Are looking forward me? to. And it's not working. So this is a water table yeah. that apparently is not working, but it kind of teaches them how to do some like it's so cool. blockage and creates dams and whatever. But and this this is the one thing he was asking for the entire time. Not the sharks, not the fish, the not water. Not the table. penguins right behind us. Nope, this. What's in there? That's cute. Uh, my nightmares. Uh, so <laughs> you can't go in there. So we've mentioned that I have a big fear of water, the ocean, sea life, all that stuff. So if I have to get squat low and go into a dark room to see this, no, it's not happening. <laughs> oh, you've seen little penguins through the portholes. That's cool. Oh, you see that penguin? So speaking of Mike's fear, I think the next section might have sharks. Yeah. Good luck, Mike. Yeah, so I close my eyes during this part. <laughs> Just because it's so, it's kind of tight. 
How are you doing? <laughs> are you having fun with this? Yeah. We tried to get out because you felt trapped at home and now you're trapped in here. <laughs> it's kind of like we're on like a Little Mermaid ride, Mike. It's fine. Yeah, but it, I, okay. it's different. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we start entering into the actual like yeah, center tube aquarium. Look, you can see the fishies. Like there's a shark right there. I mean, it's a oh, little shark. Oh, yikes. That's, <laughs> that is so close. Like, yeah. Mike, it can't get you. Be brave. You need to be brave for yourself. I just, I just don't like this. Kind look, of up, stuff. look up, look up. No, not look up. <laughs> Way to leave your son. <laughs> You can tell by the way I screamed no. I, I'll get it. Too much, too much, yeah, too exactly. much. Whoa, some more here. Yeah. This is the egg. Oh, they find fish. So this will be the little dose of Disney for this vlog. We've got the clownfish over here. There we go. We found Nemo. Look at that. There's a lot of them. Um, so here's something we have not done before. We're gonna go on the Odyssey Voyager. I don't know what this is. From some of our animal care specialists and learning all about the animals within our Odyssey Voyager exhibits. Welcome to our Shark Waters exhibit, the largest exhibit at Odyssey Aquarium. Now this iconic exhibit is home to many beautiful species of sharks. Let me point out a couple and see if you. Well, that was cool. Another thing, the first time we were here, I didn't realize that this guy was hanging out up there and I came, I was standing right here and Steve's just like, hey, look up. And we didn't do everything, but that's why I like having the annual passes because we can just come back whenever. Yeah, that way it's new every single time. We're back, yeah. Right? So, but like any normal attraction, we exit through the store. So <laughs> I feel like I'm in Disney. Exactly. This is kind of cute. Baby shark. Okay, I need this. The Mermaid Cookbook. Look at that. It actually looks like the um, cupcake um, in Disney. Okay, so, we're done with the aquarium, and now... <laughs> I suffer from, like, chronic acid reflux, and I'm out of my pills, and me, the idiot, ordered Teresa Rio. So, I'm, like, dying <laughs> right now, like, fire in my chest about the whole aquarium. I know the fastest way to get it is a milkshake that usually, you know, knocks it out really quickly. So, here we are at McDonald's. Steve is dying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so so and again, it's my own fault, but like, and then the car in front of oh, us yeah. has to order for There's like, like six 25 people. people in there. Each of them are ordering individually. <laughs> like, come on, let's do this. Steve pulls up. He's just like, vanilla milkshake, please. Yeah, like, okay, it. before. <laughs> it's not that hard. Like, it's McDonald's. They're not changing their menu. You pretty much know what you're going to get. You too. 15 minutes this later. This was so long. 15 minutes later, it's ridiculous. <laughs> like, so, literally, I, I think they ordered one of everything. They yeah. ordered one of everything, and both cars in front of us did too, so. <laughs> relief, relief. I got this. Yeah, but this is my medicine. <laughs> immediate relief. Immediate relief. Oh Thank God. God. Thank God. And there was a Target across the street, so, you know, we're in no rush to get home. So. What are we rushing to get home I know, to? we're going to be locked up in our room. We're just dragging this whole day out. Exactly. Let's go to Target. Okay, so it is much later in the afternoon, and um, we've been upstairs, obviously. After we got home, we came back upstairs to our room, and we were watching Luca. I'm going to film him like this because he's got no pants on, you guys. He refuses to wear pants. Are we watching Luca? As we mentioned, they laid this down and they said, you know, obviously try to avoid it as much as you can, but it continues on into our kitchen. And I'm trying to make Caleb's dinner right now, but I'm making his popcorn shrimp. We do have access to our little oven, but I have to like avoid the ground. And what are you doing over there? Uh, we were watching Luca Italian. Mike is requiring me to make right. an Aperol spritz. I, I, I forgive us if like the audio is terrible because there's so much echo in here. So one thing we're super struggling with is that I don't even feel comfortable like letting Caleb hang out in the backyard because this is where they've got their little setup going on to cut the tile down. And one, I just don't want to mess that up at all. But also I don't want Caleb like, you know, hurting himself. So I hate to say it, but it's like we are literally just holed up in our master bedroom just because 
there's really no, like this just is not a place for, you know, a three-year-old. Exactly why we were saying earlier, it's like, let's just get out of the house. Let's go have some breakfast. We'll go to the aquarium. We, we, like I said, we kind of dragged out the day, like, let's go to Target, you know, because when we go home, we know there's really nothing we can do but just sit in our bedroom. And Steve is over here making me a cocktail. We're watching Luca, and it's Italian, so Mike needs an Italian thing cocktail. Yeah. So he's going to get an Aperol spritz. Aperol spritz, yes. Yeah, so. And I think it's usually served in a wine glass with ice, uh -huh. right? Today, you're going to get it in a luxurious <laughs> champagne coupe. Oh, okay. All I'll right. I'll put some ice in it. I'll put some ice in it. Okay, we'll see. Right. we'll see how it goes. But of course, we're avoiding the floor, right? Yeah, we can't. Uh, we, we can technically walk on it, but he said just don't move pieces. So basically, that just means we're not walking on yeah, it. Yeah, we're so. staying off of yeah. it. But I have to admit, like, I thought this was going to be so dark, the tile. Right. It looks really, really good. That's like, what I said too. It looks really good from what we can see. And I think it's because of the pattern that we're laying it out. You get different like reflections of light and different colors in the tile. So, mm. And this is not everything. So we also have some other like enhancements that we can't wait to show you. So right. it's going to look really good. Okay. So I'm sure you guys are very interested in what our living quarters looks like. Steve just made a look. He, Steve just made a face. But... um. I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you how we're living right now. Okay, so this is the entrance to our bedroom. I hate the fact that this is the first time they're going to see our bedroom. And now that I'm Can thinking... we wait for like the big room? No, let's just oh, show because this right. is what's happening right now. We want to document this, even if it's just for us. But um, here's the doorway to our bedroom. And we actually just got this yesterday at Target. It's the Dyson um, air purifier because there's so much dust and debris in our air right now. So we got that. These are our glass etagers and they are just completely chock full. They usually don't look like this, but we had to obviously bring a bunch of stuff from upstairs. So this is what we've got going on here. And then this, again, more stuff that's from downstairs, but this is where we're sitting if we don't want to lay in bed all day long. Yeah, so this is pretty much my only option. Yeah. <laughs> because over there is the other chair. It's like chock full with all the- We'll show clothes. that in a second. But so uh, this is where I've been sitting, editing videos and so forth. And um, well, as we just mentioned, Steve just made me a Aperol spritz to enjoy the film. We're watching Luca tonight. <laughs> Um, so this is my spot. This is where Caleb is, and this is Steve. But Caleb's eating this his. This is our theater. <laughs> yeah, Caleb's eating his dinner right now. Here, go ahead and turn on your light. Um, but yeah, so this is our, uh, this is usually the bar cab, or rather the bar cart that's downstairs. Yeah. We brought it upstairs. Again, another fan, just keep the dust down and everything Right. Else. Food. Huge mess. Yeah. And then, um, something we didn't mention is that we're currently doing Nutrisystem right now. Yeah, so we shipped so, it from Marley Spoon, which is the next box right next to it. Right. We Nutrisystem because we need something that's quick to eat, like microwave, especially during the situation. We don't have right. full access kitchen, so we needed something that was pretty easy for us to prepare and you know, still eat healthy, so. Right. So, and then this is what Steve's talking about. These are all the pillows that are usually on our bed. Usually, <laughs> usually. We never make our bed. Permanently <laughs> stationed right over there. I wish we were those people that made their beds every day, but we're not. It's so, not. but this is actually a very beautiful chair in Ottoman, but you can't see it. And then this is Steve's little like computer station. This is what he's got going on over here. And then we've kind of showed you this is little man. We got his little Montessori set up. How's your popcorn shrimp, bud? Is it good? Yeah. Good. And I put on this, and, and this one's, that one's already. Oh, yeah? I buy that. Okay. This one's ready. Oh, no. No, it's not already. Do you like the cocktail sauce? Is that good, huh? Uh, this way, right now. Oh, okay. And film me in the East He's good? Y yes, I'll film you. Mmm. Good? Get a thumbs up. <laughs> but, and I think we already mentioned, okay, we're a mess, you guys. We're not, we're really bad at keeping this place up as of right now, but this is, we got his little kitchen here. And then over here is where we're kind of, this is our makeshift pantry. So yeah, judge us. But yeah, so we are, we've been watching Luca today. Um, we're back actually about like what, maybe like three quarters of the way through yeah. it. So far it's pretty cute, but yeah, we're taking a little break. So little man can eat his dinner. We're gonna finish the movie and then he'll probably go to bed. It is pretty cute. I like the music. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi bud. <laughs> it is cute. Um, 
it is very much like a straight to like uh, streaming service kind of movie. Like I can see why they didn't charge for it. Like this definitely mm-hmm. is not like you know Black Widow, right? So it's a little bit different right. production, but I think it's pretty fun. It almost seems like one of those like Pixar shorts that have been elongated, right? So, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but it's fun. It's fun. It's how we're in, uh, ending our weekend because. <laughs> God knows we're, we're starting for some sort of entertainment for him and keeping him busy. So. Yeah, and the thing is also, we are only in, like, what, day four of this? This is going to be for two weeks. And, and he goes on summer break during Yeah, <laughs> so he has no school this week, so. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I have a distraction to where I have work, so I'm just going to, like, right. hold myself in the office and work all day long, and then I'll come out to see what kind of chaos happens. So we'll see. We'll see.